Hello, my coily companions. So for wash day, I start off with my pre-poo. And this was the pre-poo that I adopted from the summer hair growth challenge. And it has been a good addition to my regimen. And of course, I am brewing two tea bags of green tea for a tea rinse and spray to help with detangling. I actually have found that this is super helpful with removing shed hairs and also creating slip and also avoiding hair loss. Now I am ensuring that I'm handling my hair very gently. We just talked about this in a previous video, so I'll have that linked in the cards above. But I used a comb, which I normally don't because I exclusively finger detangle, but because I am doing a flexi rod set and my hair has been in mini twists for about three weeks, I am gonna need a little more help from a tool to ensure that it comes out as smooth as possible. Once I'm done, I apply as much of the product as I'm able to because I do not use leftovers. It doesn't have the preservatives inside to actually keep. So let's talk about the Head & Shoulders Royal Oils line and my intentions on using it. Oh, and here's Charlie. Now, while my treatment is sitting and marinating and doing its magic, I'm going to show you guys some new products that I purchased from the brand Head & Shoulders. Now, this is from their Royal Oils line. I know that it's geared towards those with kinkier, afro-textured hair, maybe those with curly hair. Now, I actually owned the standard Head & Shoulders shampoo and conditioner but it is very drying and so with this one technically or as they claim it is supposed to be more moisturizing than their standard line i have not been diagnosed with seborrheic dermatitis psoriasis eczema and so on i know that i have dandruff i know that i have very dry scalp and i will go out on the limb and self-diagnose myself as having some form whether it's severe or not I don't know if it's severe because and people with severe cerebral dermatitis have a very hard time with putting product on their scalp and they have to keep it super clean and it also came with their royal oils conditioner this is the moisture renewal scalp balancing conditioner the ingredients in both of these products are geared towards moisturizing cleansing without stripping and also providing soothing effects to the scalp and that's what I need. So I won't be deep conditioning because I'm doing my deep treatment mask right now. However, after I finish doing the shampoo and conditioner, then I will proceed to stretching my hair and I'm not gonna blow dry. Initially, I was going to blow dry my hair, but as you all, you ladies know with fine and thin hair, that sometimes when your hair is straightened or flattened, you look like you have less hair than you actually do. So I thought of instead just stretching my hair with plaits and we'll see how that turns out. Everything I'm doing for the first time, styling with flexi rods, stretching my hair, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm praying to the Lord Jesus that it works out for me because he knows <laughs> I don't want to show up at a garden party with my hair completely undone. Like my hair to me is like 80% of 
the way I feel and look. So even though I have a beautiful gown on, I have my makeup on, my hair's got to be on par, okay? So may he give me wisdom as I proceed with the styling. The Royal Oils by Head & Shoulders is a sulfate-free scalp care shampoo. And you will notice a healthier scalp and healthier hair in three weeks. And that is according with regular use. Now, obviously, as you guys know, I don't wash my hair every day unless I'm on a wash and go regimen. But for now, I'm just hoping that depending on how well my hair and scalp responds to the shampoo and conditioner, I may go out on the limb and wash my hair every two weeks. I know I don't want to be in my scalp like that all the time. I don't want to even mess with my hair that much because my hair is thriving right now and I don't want to over manipulate it. So my only thing is i'll either wash it while it's still in the braids or the mini twist or whatever i decide to do after the flexi rod set or i will just try it for the once a month routine that i'm on and prayerfully my scalp will be able to handle the long term holding off of the washing we'll see now this line is helpful to preventing a recurrence of flaking and itching associated with dandruff so there is no claim on here to use it if you're suffering from those other scalp disorders that i mentioned at the beginning but it is worth a try i do know that sometimes dandruff control shampoos and conditioner are very helpful in helping relieve the symptoms of those more severe disorders but again if you want to find out, you want to seek medical attention, just try to schedule a consultation with a dermatologist and they'll be able to provide you with medicated formulas and products to help you with your scalp. Now it's time for stretching. I got this method from The Chic Natural and I'll be sure to link that video in the description box below. But basically you take some oil, do not apply any product except oil, and you tie your hair and braid it down. So in regards to the Royal Oils line from Head & Shoulders, I very much enjoyed it. It was very moisturizing, the shampoo wasn't stripping at all, and the conditioner was my favorite because it had so much slip and it left my hair feeling extremely hydrated. So much so that I actually washed, rinsed my hair a second time to ensure all the product was out, and all the product was actually out. However, my hair was just that soft. The only thing I would say is that my hair isn't completely clean or free from some specks from whether the scalp or the dandruff. And I will say that when I'm filming my wash days, I don't do as good of a job as cleaning because I'm multitasking and I'm thinking about the camera battery and I'm thinking about how wet the bathroom or how moist the bathroom is getting and I don't want to damage my camera because it is also my business. And so that's the only thing, but otherwise, besides looking like poopy long stocking i felt so silly i was like i felt like a little girl oh my gosh but other than that i think if i have a good run of, of shampoo and washing my hair without worrying about filming my hair will actually come out a lot i mean it's clean my scalp was clean it felt very relieved and brand new but as you can see there was so much specks in my hair and that's just from not really taking my time but otherwise i'm praying to the lord you know he knows <laughs> i hope this style turns out because if it's a fail i do have my wig on deck but i would hate for all this work to not work out the way i'd hope so otherwise thank you guys so much for watching thank you for being here for subscribing for commenting liking i love seeing your usernames in the comments i love your thoughts your opinions so please share i pay attention and i will give shout outs when i feel it necessary so thank you so much for giving me some of your time on youtube and i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video which will be the flexi rod set <laughs> you guys have a good one